What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet again another video. Today we've got an updated key from Gates Innovation for the M4 GTS. You guys may have seen a video that I made a few weeks ago with this new digital key by Gates Innovation for our BMWs. However, they were still kind of working out some of the kinks in the firmware, making the key a little bit faster overall and improving the actual design as well as adding some new features. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys what we have in store from Gates Innovation. If you guys are interested in buying this key, I'll have it linked down below or of course, any of the other products in this video, they'll all be in the description. Let's get into it. Now, first, before we get into this video, feel free to check out the the merch packages that I have on my website. We still have a little bit of stock available. I'm signing each of these t-shirts before they go out. I throw in a couple of decals, I give you a t-shirt, you get a license plate frame. If you guys are interested in supporting, it's much appreciated. I'll have that link down below as well. All right, you guys, so here is the digital key by Gates Innovation. Now we're not gonna run through everything that this key does from the beginning because we've already gone over that in another video. I'm gonna have that linked right here if you guys wanna check it out. But this is the digital key for my car that was made. And you'll see on the screen here, I actually have the anniversary logo but you can go ahead and actually hold down it'll bring up a list of all of the other logos and then you're gonna see a bunch in here they got the gates innovation at the top left you can do the normal BMW one you can do the Mercedes Audi whole bunch of stuff they also have the M on there so I chose the anniversary logo I think that looks the best but you can change that out to whatever you want it to be but I'd say the biggest complaint from people was the actual interface and how fast it was and it's definitely not like the fastest still, but it's not terrible. I guess it's one of those things where, you know, if you're gonna be really picky about the interface and wanting the key to be super, super quick, then this is not gonna be for you. But if that sort of thing doesn't really bother you, then it's not really that big of a deal. You guys also have to keep in mind the price point. This isn't a like super expensive key. It's pretty affordable. I think if they made this thing like a lightning quick, you know, like our new iPhones, then this thing would be a lot more expensive. But for what it is, it's certainly not bad. And personally, it doesn't bother me at all. You also have the physical buttons right here on the key as well. So you're not stuck only using the digital side of it. You know what I mean? So you can still use all the physical buttons. You don't have to use the digital buttons right here on the key. So there is a keyless entry option on this key. Now I'm gonna show you guys how this works. So you guys may or may not know, but on the M4 GTS, I actually do not have comfort access on this car. Basically everything with this car is just completely stripped down. So you don't really get a lot of the features that some of the other F-Series cars have. And this car in particular, you know, does not have comfort access. So anytime I wanna get into this thing, I have to use my physical key and unlock it. One of the cool features that Gates Innovation came up with is adding one of these little dongles that goes into your OBD port and it turns your car into having sort of like a comfort access feature. It's more of like a proximity access feature. But if we go ahead and throw this into our OBD2 port, Got it in there. And now what we'll do is we'll go into the actual key itself, slide over to keyless entry settings. And so what you wanna have is proximity lock and unlock selected. And then you wanna have override lock only not selected. And so those are the only things you need to make it work. So let's go ahead and test this thing and see if it works. So basically it should be a certain distance and you guys can change the distance as to when the keyless entry actually works with the car. But right now, we're about 10 feet away. Oh, and it just did it. So I'm gonna hold that out in front of you guys so you can see that I'm not touching anything. And it just unlocked. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. Like if you don't have comfort access, which the M4 GTS is just like the perfect candidate, well, you now have it. <laughs> Very cool. And I'm gonna set the camera up over here and walk away from it so you guys can see exactly how far I walk away from the car to show you the proximity access actually working. So I would say at the moment, it's probably set to about 10 feet away from the car. 
is when it finally activates. But it's nice to have. If you don't have comfort access, you can use something like this and your car will respond like it has proximity access. It's pretty cool. There's another pretty neat feature on this key that has to do with the windows. So you can actually go over to automatic window settings and you can change this to allow the proximity settings to open or close the windows. So let's say you're walking away from the car and you forgot to close your window. It'll actually close the windows for you as you walk away. Let's test it out. So we'll go ahead and shut the door and then we'll do the typical hold the unlock. Should roll our windows down. So window is all the way down. Now let's walk away and see what happens. Oh, there it goes. And it rolled up the windows. So it locked the car and rolled up the windows for us. That is the proximity with the automatic windows, which is also kind of nice if you're just either A, lazy or forgetful. It'll go ahead and take care of the windows for you as well as the locks. Pretty cool little feature that they've added to this key. Now, obviously this isn't a feature that everybody is going to need, but for someone like me or any of you other guys out there who have a BMW who don't have comfort access, you can sort of trick the car into thinking that it does have it. So there's another cool little feature that I want to show you guys. If you happen to lose this key, you can put in all of your contact information right here in case someone finds it. Hopefully they're a good Samaritan and return it to you. If you go all the way to the end, you'll find settings here and you can check out which hardware version it is. This is the Gates V1.0. So they will be releasing updates as well on this. So they'll just get faster and faster and the AI will get better and better. And you can change the actual proximity. So right now I have it pretty close, but you can go ahead and change that if you want it to be a little bit further out when it locks or unlocks, or of course, a little bit closer. Kind of nice to be able to change those things right here on the actual key itself. Now, one thing that I will say that I'm not too excited about with this key is you can't adjust the automatic screen saver. Basically, it just turns off like that whenever it wants to, and it's within a few seconds. It's not very long, which gets kind of annoying if you're trying to mess with settings and you're not physically touching the key. It does turn off pretty quick. It does that obviously to save on power and battery, but I think it would be nice if the user could actually adjust those settings whenever they wanted to. Back to the actual screen and how fast it is, you know, like I said, it's not the fastest, but it doesn't really, that's not something that's gonna bother me. Everyone is going to be different and have a different opinion, but you guys are gonna have to make that decision for yourself. The actual functions themselves are quick. I mean, it happens immediately, you know. So there's no delay there. But all in all, I personally think that the key is worth it for me because it adds a new level of functionality and also it's just a really cool piece to have. It's going to be very rare that you see really anyone that has this key for their BMW. So it's sort of like a novelty item, but it does have some pretty cool functionality to it as well. I think in the future, I would really like to see the compatibility for remote start on this. If they actually sold the hardware unit that you install in your car as well as the functionality on the key, I think that that would be really neat to have. All in all, the key has a lot of functionality and I think it's really cool. Heading to the back of the car, you also get the charging cable for the key itself. So you can plug this in and there's also going to be updates through Gates Innovation. So you can plug this directly into your computer or of course charge it when you need to. It charges really fast. That's one thing about this key that I noticed immediately. It charges fast and the battery lasts a very long time. So obviously you're not using a key 24 seven. So it's not completely draining the battery all the time. It does a really good job of, you know, not sucking up too much of the battery juice. Um, this is obviously Obviously a little OBD thing for the comfort access that I showed you guys. This is a pretty cool key. I don't know, I can't remember if I showed you guys this, but this is a key that they use for a lot of like the classic cars. So I had one for my E36, and then this one is gonna be for the E30. So you can get multiple style keys um, made available through them, pretty neat. And then they also sent out this key. So this is a little bit different design, and you will have to have comfort access on your car in order to use this physical key right here. But the design is really, really cool like the thing is so small you like hardly even feel like you have a key on you but if you have comfort access this is a cool little addition now this key does remove any of the physical buttons so if you want physical buttons on the key this is not going to be for you but you can go ahead and order one of these and just carry it around in your pocket whenever you walk up to the car it's going to unlock for you you can drive it whatever you can do all the functions that you need to pretty cool little option as well for you guys and they make this one for you know the supras all of the f-series that have comfort access those cars so another great little option 
driven by Gates Innovation. This key right here is compatible with the F-Series. It's, it's basically like the G-Series design, but digital. And they also do the G-Series design key, but with the physical buttons, so without the digital screen. Those are cool to have as well, because obviously, you know, the factory BMW key isn't like the best looking key in the world. Now I have this wonderful little Keys Motorsports cover on mine, but these keys are just, they look super outdated, these key fobs. And even the new G-Series keys with the buttons look a lot nicer, or like the Supra keys, they look a lot better than these F-Series key fobs. So there's some really great options here, you guys. I'm gonna have all of this stuff linked down below. If you're interested in buying win, of course, hit one of those links. But that is going to uh, end this video. I just wanted to show you guys the updates from Gates Innovation, some really, really cool stuff over there. And like I said, they're always innovating. So there's gonna be faster firmware, better interface designs. And really that's always just a great thing when people in our industry are just creating new things for these cars. That's what we want to see. Anyways, guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching the video. Like I said, I'll have everything linked down below. I also have some exciting updates on this car as well as I think I know what the next build is gonna be. I think. And I don't think that anybody is going to guess it, which makes me even more excited about what it's gonna be. Drop those comments down below if you think you know what it is. But it's going to be an entirely new platform for me, an entirely new engine, but the engine definitely has a good cultish following. We'll leave it at that. Comment down below if you guys think you know what it is. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for the support lately. Feel free to check out those merch packages if you wanna support your boy in the channel. It means the world to me. You guys are amazing. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.